Hey everybody, I'm Family Easter. Welcome to Dog Training Nation, and we're talking about chin rest. Um, this is the next part um, where you're going to actually teach, actually it's part three, that you're gonna teach your dog um, to rest his chin on your hand. So before you were moving up, now you're gonna hold your hand still and wait for your dog to put his chin into your hand, okay? This is gonna take a little bit of patience. There's two ways you can do this. You can lure their nose into your hand, okay? And then yes, and feed, 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 feed while it's there, or you can hold your, your hand underneath their chin and wait for them to drop it, and you can click and treat. It's up to you whichever way that you wanna do it. The whole premise for me, or the whole the whole goal of this video is, in, is to teach your dog that hands are fun, okay? They're good things so that you can reach for dogs and your dogs didn't get um, um, very stressed out. All right, here we are demoing. What I'm gonna do is pick up where I left off. Sobek is comfortable with me putting my hand under his chin. So now I'm gonna lure him with a piece of hot dog um, with his um, chin into my hand. So the difference is, instead of me going up to his chin, I'm gonna lure him into my hand. So instead of me moving, I will move him into my hand, all right? This is the first time we've ever done this, so it's completely live. And I'm just backing him up so you guys can see on the camera. Yes. Yes. I'm luring him onto my hand, and as I feel him touch his chin in my hand, I say yes, and then I give him the treat. Yes. And then I'm going to feed, feed, feed him. Yes. While he's got his hand, his head in my hand. Okay. Because I want him to know that when that chin is in my hand, food happens. Back him up again for you. Yes. And I just keep feeding. Good boy. We'll do it again. He knows where the hot dogs are coming from. Um, we're going to work on the next part, which is actually talking about how to um, do this for longer. All right, let me see if I can do this one more time with him. Lower him up. Hold your hand still into your hand and then drop your hand down. Yes. And feed, feed, feed. Good boy, Smoochie. Okay, I'll back him around. If he pops out, I bring him back. And ideally, you just want to kind of keep your hand here and just keep feeding. Okay? Sometimes you'll see my hand gravitating following him. That's not what you want to do. You want to keep your hand nice and still. And feed for position. Yes. Feed for position. Yes. Good boy! Kind of slobbery, but I think we got it. Um, we right. struggled with this because this is the first time we've ever done this. I mean, you're seeing this flat out live. Um, he's used to me reaching out. He has issues with hands moving really fast. He'll blink and, and kind of cower his head. He's always been that way. I've had him since he was eight weeks. Nothing's ever happened. It's just him. I play lots and lots of touchy, feely, hands in your face, and it's all a good thing, all right? So I'm gonna keep practicing, as I know you're gonna keep practicing, and uh, eventually we'll be able to keep our dog's head, uh, chin in our hand um, for at all least right. a second. I'm Anna right. Easter. Thank you for visiting us at Dog Training Nation, and I shall see you around. Bye.